endless abandoned trenches, rows of trees halved or stripped into poles, the extraordinary amount of abandoned equipment, bombs, rifles, clothing, and the dead amongst it all. Quiet, not repulsive, fitting into the drab scene, lonely, even in this lonely place. Harrowing words written from the trenches of World War I and hidden away for the best part of a century. From describing the desolate landscape to stories of a Christmas dinner eaten in a burnt out house, soldier William Brown documented his life during World War I in letters sent home. Nearly a century later, and those letters found in a trunk in an attic have been turned into a book by William's grandson. It, it literally depicts four years of everyday life for a soldier between 1914 and 1918, serving everywhere from Belgium, Holland, through to Italy, an everyday account of everything that could possibly happen and did. It was important to me that the letters reached a wider audience, um, but keeping them as true to as they were in the first place. Thus, There's a lot of black humour, which I suppose you, your, your sense of humour would become black faced with what the, 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 the Tommies, the soldiers, had to face on both sides. So you would develop a black sense of humour and you just got you used to it because you didn't know what each day or night would bring and it was perhaps the only way of dealing with it. William Brown made it home and lived to the age of 70, dying in 1951. Tim says these letters are important to remember those who weren't so lucky. Soldiers tended not to talk about their experiences, they tended just to get on with life, the ones who were lucky enough to come home, and very little was spoken about it, which is why when you have it written down in letter form or in diary form, that's what makes them of such great significance. During his time in service, Major William Brown won several medals, including the Military Cross. Tim hopes that this book will serve as a reminder not only of his grandfather, but of the sacrifices all soldiers made in the Great War. Jennifer Cordingly, ITV News, Galashiels.